Hey guys. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I still feel so silly doing that intro. And I also, you know, I think I'm just gonna have to start doing all of those intros for the whole, whole time on YouTube because Amberlynn Reed and Chantel, whoever, tend to be the same person all the time. It just baffles me how the the parallels, the similarities, whatever synonyms you want to find for those two words just keep happening. But before I get too much into that, I just want to apologize. Um, you know, I was taking a break and it's funny because, well, it's not funny at all. It's just been very hard. Um, life is hard and, you know, there's just some mean people in the comments. And so, you know, I just, I just needed a break from YouTube. Actually, the reality is, is that despite the comments that I get sometimes about like, oh, you must not have a life if you care this much about two YouTubers and you need to get a life and you need new content and wow, is this all you do? Like you have n no time for anything else? No, the reality is, is that I've got two degrees which had led me to this full-time job that I work in, that I work at least 40 hours a week, if not more most weeks, and yeah, like a quick 10 minute video <laughs> that took me, took me, takes me like maybe 15 minutes to edit. That's like 30 minutes of my, my day, of my week. This is something, YouTube is something I use to like get away from my real life, so. Calm down, I do have a life. I know y'all concerned. Please feel free to go look at my other videos. I vlog, I do things, it's cool. But no, my life has been really busy. It's a busy time of year in my job right now. And so it's just consumed a lot of it. Plus I do like to have a social life. I spend time with my boyfriend regularly. I have friends who I spend time with. And so, you know, I had to take a break. It was too much. But isn't it funny that my break collectively lasted longer than both Amber and Chantel and I didn't even have to make like any kind of special video announcing that I was going on a break for less than 24 hours. So, so, my apologies if you're waiting. I know that there's just been a whirlwind of things that have happened over the past really like 72 hours. I'm not gonna get to all of it in this video, but what I will say is, wow, Chantel very publicly apologized to me, and that is cute, make a whole video. Now, is it up on her channel still today? No, and I have a feeling that has something to do with the whole, like, CPS allegations and, like, telling people she's gonna do that, and listen, I don't know the full details of that story because I feel like a majority of that happened before I started watching Chantel. But here's the reality. Homegirl commented that on my video, commented about that, responded to that on my video. I'm like, girl, I wasn't even talking about this. Like, girl, you are opening yourself up to this, right? Like, I didn't, I didn't say anything about it because like I said, that happened before I ever started watching her. Now, girl, I think what she struggles with is that like, she wants to justify her actions by this like idea that two wrongs make a right somehow. Like if if this person, this friend really was threatening to call immigration on BB and things like that, then like yeah, that's that's problematic and rude. Like BB didn't probably do anything to deserve that, right? But girl, that doesn't make it okay for you to threaten her with with CPS and like you openly admit that you did that so like just apologize for that and move on like <laughs> I think that that's the part that people have a problem with but anyways her apology to me was super cute super sincere and I I appreciate that like I I think it's important to own up when you do things wrong now speaking of owning up to doing things wrong Y'all don't know because it was not as public as as Chantel's very public apology to me, but you know, I, I, I started this video talking about the parallels between Amberlynn and Chantel, and what y'all don't know is that little uh, 
Amber Lynn also apologized to me. <laughs> oh yeah. She also apologized to me and she did it after I tweeted out about the break that she took from YouTube, which if you all don't know, I have started tweeting more and I do use Instagram and I link my Twitter and Instagram down below in every single video that I post. So if you're interested about this like life I don't have supposedly, feel free to go follow me there. I post Instagram stories all the time, especially since Snapchat started being lame, but I've also started tweeting more and I tweeted my shock and surprise on the day that Amberlynn posted a new video 24 hours after she had just talked about how she was taking a break. And she tweeted back and was like, I don't want to give up. And I was like, okay, cute, whatever, gorgeous. Please do have your moment, whatever. <laughs> and then she DM'd me like immediately after that tweet. And I can post the screenshots here. And basically, yeah, that, that's it. She just started off super cash and was like, how are you doing? What's up? And I'm like, I'm good. What's up with you? What's going on? Talked about hanging out with Becky and Eric. And then she said, I just want to apologize for, for the past and like blocking you and everything. And I said, yeah, great. I appreciate your apology. That was pretty much the conversation. I was like, I don't know what your motive is here. I do appreciate you apologizing. I don't know that you had to apologize in this situation. Like, let's be real. Am I a troll? Yes. Like, or was I trolling when I was asking her about Italian ice? Yes. But was that any different than any other time that I asked, like, obnoxious questions? No. So, I appreciate the apology. Great. But now what? Like, I'm, I'm not sure what the motive for that is. I guess it's just she wants to let bygones be bygones, but I think for Amber Lynn, what tends to happen is that she realizes she did stuff wrong and she wants to apologize to people and hopes that she can move forward and like some of the other negative energy around that will go away. So for instance, her friendship with Rafe, um, her friendship with like Destiny and Dana, things like that. And you know, I'm still going to be critical. And that goes for, for Amberlynn and Chantel, to be honest with you. Like, the reality is, is, is apologies are great, and I appreciate that, and that indicates some uh, level of self-awareness, but I don't think that that, like, eradicates you, and that's probably... Y'all got so mad about dissolve versus absolve, but here, I'll use absolve correctly. That doesn't absolve you of your responsibilities, and not lying of, you know, demonstrating positive choices and behaviors. And so what I would love for you all to do instead of apologizing to me is to just move forward and doing the things that you say you're going to say. Like, Chantel, you said you're going to take a break and you're going to ignore the haters. You did neither of those things this weekend. You both acknowledged the haters and stopped taking your break. You said you weren't going to upload any videos at all, all weekend, and you did it. And like, Amber Lynn, anything, pick, pull something out of the hat, pull something out of your hat, and commit to what you want to do. I can't believe I just took my hat off of here. But you know, if it's the water, do the water. If it's the walking, do the walking. If it's counting your calories, count your mother effing calories, but just do something. Just do something because what you all don't realize is like the reason that people comment and get so worked up about the things you do is because you say you're going to do something and then you don't. Yeah. You know? It's that easy. It's that easy. Just do what you say you're going to do. So, I do apologize. I don't want to go too um, <laughs> Amber Lynn on y'all or Chantel because they both said this. That was so many chin dabs. Way too many in a row. I was just making up because I think I realized in my head I hadn't done any chin dabs this video. So I don't want to go like all Amber Lynn or Chantel, but the reality is is that I've done a lot of sit down videos lately, so I'm sorry. Not every video is going to be a sit down video, okay? But I just have had a lot of commentary to give on things. So, uh, there will be, I purchased some items for a new 
cooking video, so get ready for that recipe video. Highly requested. I will do The Sims again soon, and maybe I'll vlog. I should have maybe hopefully some fun things coming up in my life soon, and so maybe I can incorporate that. It's going to be summer in Chicago soon. So, you know, there's going to be more than this. Amberlynn Reed and Chantel are not my only, like, hobbies or interests in the world. So, please make sure, feel free to stay tuned. And that's all I got today, so make sure, if you haven't already, that you do subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all my new subscribers. Make sure to hit the bell notification next to it, and you'll get the little notifications whenever I post a new video. Hit like, leave me some comments down below, let me know if you think that their apologies are sincere, if I should accept their apologies, what you would do if they apologized to you, and yeah. I, I look forward to seeing what y'all have to say, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!